As a minimalist, I absolutely love the Meta Gym Prunella, the pack rat. The class are doing various projects for Earth Day and it turns out when Arthur goes to Prunella's house that she has a closet full of everything. She keeps everything. It's basically hoarding. But with the help of Rubella and Arthur and Buster, she manages to get rid of some of her stuff and then gets more stuff. And it's like the cycle is continuing. And she has to learn very slowly that you shouldn't really hold on to things for too long unless they have a purpose or, you know, a genuine deep sentimental reason. And I think that a lot of people can benefit from this. Once upon a time, I would have benefited from this episode. But watching it now, it just fills me with enthusiasm to kind of declutter anything that I have gathered. Because while I am a minimalist, you know, I do have things. And every time I watch an episode like this, for example, we had one recently with DW and her toys, it does make me want to just reevaluate what I have and take stock of what I actually need versus what I perhaps thought I need at the time of acquiring it. So I find it inspiring even now, but specifically when I used to be a collector of things, I think it would have... Maybe it would have fallen on deaf ears, though, because my collections meant something to me, or I thought they did. And then watching this, I probably would have went, well, no, I need my collection. But if we're going to you know, encourage even just one person to look at their belongings and think, you know what, I don't need all of this. I don't have to go complete minimalism, but I can downsize a little bit and also do things to save the planet, such as, you know, recycling and repurposing as well. So I think it's a good message, uh, several good messages in this, an enjoyable episode. It's been quite a few episodes since Prunella was a protagonist. And it's been even more since Prunella was the protagonist in a non-Henry Screever-focused episode. I really enjoyed it. Prunella the Pack Rat is one that definitely spoke to me.